Morning Bitcoin, Shamai. Um, welcome to Bitcoin Coffee Break, just a little show in which we look at the Bitcoin price and the news and some of the other markets which may be affecting it. Bitcoin's doing well, it's up, it's up uh, 1.4%, uh, $6,352, uh, with a high of 6380 and a low of $6,200. Um, so looking very bullish on a longer time frame here, we've got this goofy looking copper and handle thing going on, uh, we should you know, if it, if it were a cup and angle and all I'm right, it would take us way above 9,000. Um, and that's when the real bulls come out, I imagine. If we zoom in on the three month, uh, we've got these uh, three um, uh, rising valleys going up here. And then we've got a nice uh, uh, positive channel. We've got it all going on. We kind of almost got like a, 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 a measured measured move up as well going on. Um, so, so yeah, it's looking it's looking pretty, pretty damn bullish. As I said yesterday, you know, take this chart, flip it over, and it would look incredibly bearish. So the opposite is true. Um, so uh, obviously this could all go to pot and, you know, we could all lose our money tomorrow. Um, if anyone's got any money in Bitcoin, but you should always bear that in mind. But, you know, at the moment it's looking pretty, 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 uh, pretty bullish. So what we've got going on in the news feed, uh, Litecoin price analysis, Litecoin breaks above $78, gains 3% in a matter of minutes. Wow. It's true. That's a lot. We'll have a look at Litecoin in a moment. Um, major cryptocurrency firms consider creating scammer blacklist. Um, so I'm not sure whether that's for actual people or, or addresses if it's addresses and that push points towards us having confidential transactions but i mean you can you know mix it up and uh, use a couple of services to go anonymous anyway so um bitcoin price predicted to hit four hundred thousand. Oof, good that would be good wouldn't it uh let's have a look uh bitcoin price defies gravity with upsurge bulls aiming at six thousand five hundred Binance Security breach leads to BNB's price nose diving by 6%. Oof, goodness me. And 18% in two days. Jeez, this guy's getting hammered. Well, let's have a little look at Litecoin then. Nope, oh, there we are. Yep, green. Okay, so we've got a 2% rise over the past 24 hours. Um, oh, we just got Bitcoin. There we go. It's good when the trading view, when it refreshes and... All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Make an effort to go and find. Uh, go and find Litecoin. There you are, because you have gone up three percent, so you deserve to be looked at. Let's have a look at your Litecoin. Um, wow, yeah. So yeah, up uh, up three percent. I mean, it was up even more. But, um, oh no, no, yeah, up 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 three percent, and we got this nice uh, ascending triangle pattern going on here. We've got the magical crypto conference going on. Um, uh, so it's had a so the, the price at the, at the moment is uh, 70, 70, 77 dollars or seventy seven point eight dollars so almost seventy eight dollars uh, it's had a high of seventy nine low of seventy three um, and yeah it's looking it's looking bullish as well I mean on a longer time frame as well we looked at this yesterday but on a longer time frame if we zoom out um, I mean yeah Litecoin's looking pretty plucky. Um, it's looking as plucky as uh, as, as Bitcoin, um, so I imagine Bitcoin's price rise will help pull pull Litecoin up as well. And inevitably, all these people pouring into Bitcoin will will then go, "Ooh, there's these other cryptocurrencies. Let's check them out." Um, so Ethereum, how's Ethereum doing? Ethereum's looking very similar. Look at that. Oh, well, that's why. Oh, trading view. You let me down here, man. I think it's me clicking on the no thanks on that little pop-up, isn't it? Nice to read the pop-up. Um, right, so Ethereum's up 2%. How much we got Ethereum? So at your app, uh, Ethereum's at uh, $176. Just, if I click on no thanks now, right, okay, so, so um, yeah, one hundred and seventy-six dollars with a high of one hundred and seventy-seven dollars and a low of one hundred and seventy dollars. Um, yeah, that's kind of got a, a three uh, uh, rising value thing going on as well. So that's looking pretty nice and also like a nice uh, capitulating ascending triangle. So that's that's also looking pretty bullish on the on the on the on, this, on the six month. Yes, on the six month. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, on the yearly, it's looking pretty flat, but you know. On a short term, there it's looking it's looking quite bullish. So maybe the price will pop up with a, a slight delay on on the on the heels of Bitcoin there. Um, and I really hope. Why is that going to Litecoin? Goodness me. Um, 
So we're all we're all switching to Litecoin here. That's annoying, isn't it? Let's just have a quick glance rather than look at the charts. We'll just have a quick glance at some of the some of the important prices. Um, we'll look at the FTSE and the gold and, and see how we're doing here. And then we'll skip on to the news. I want to try and keep these videos under under 10 minutes. I don't want to be faffing around with this stuff. Um, so here we go. What have we got? So the FTSE, ooh, all red. Look at that. So that's uh, I think that's pretty much the um, Trump trade deals going on um, uh, with, with China. Um, and the, there's been a level of uncertainty around that. And then also we have got the Brexit thing going on in the UK. So... That's going to have a negative effect on on um, on the British stocks, or maybe a positive effect, and maybe it should be a little bit more uh, be, be further down. Maybe maybe people like the idea of it of it being separate to the to Europe. Maybe the, maybe the um, the stock market likes that idea anyway. I, I personally don't, but there we are. Um, so yeah, they're they're all red. All Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are going green, and um, the stock markets are going are going red. Um, I don't think they're related. I think it's more the the Trump uh, Asia deals, um, trade deal, people worrying about that. Um, so what else should we have a look at? We'll have a look at the metals, shall we? Um, let's go to futures. We'll have a little look at metals. So yeah, well, gold, gold, silver, crude oil. They're doing pretty well. So again, this is I think this is in reaction to the well, not improving, but the, the sort of flat. Gold should probably be up further more than it is. Um, I think this is a reaction to the um, to the to the stock market, um, but I would say in the past gold would have gone up probably a little bit more. Uh, there is a, a kind of bullish ascending triangle thing going on, but on a, but then on a shorter time frame there is like a, a full on descending wedge there, isn't there? And, oh, and three three uh, descending valleys as well. So yeah, that's that's a, that's that's not looking too healthy. But there we are. That's um, that's gold for you. Let's move on to the news now, shall we? Um, uh, let's, yeah, let's move on to the news. Let's have a look at the Bitcoin Reddit. So on the Bitcoin Reddit, um, oh, we got this is the main story, is uh, Congressman Rep Sherman um, having a rant about how they should ban cryptocurrencies. Um, so I think we should probably have a little watch of this. For colleagues to join with me in introducing a bill to uh, outlaw cryptocurrency uh, uh, owner uh, purchases by Americans so that we nip this in the bud, in part because not uh, an awful lot of our international power comes from the fact that the dollar is the standard unit of international uh, finance and transactions. Clearing through the New York Fed is critical for major oil, oil and other transactions. And it is the announced purpose of the supporters of cryptocurrency to take that power away from us, to put us in a position where the most significant sanctions we have on Iran, for example, would become uh, irrelevant. So whether it is to disempower our foreign policy, our tax collection uh, enforcement, or our law, traditional law enforcement, the purposes of cryptocurrency, the advantage it has over uh, uh, sovereign currency is solely uh, to aid in the disempowerment of, uh, of uh, the United States and the rule of law. I say that's fair. Um, that's why we're all here, isn't it? I mean, I think one of the things um, all major economic theories have in, in common is they quite like the idea of an apolitical money. John Maynard Keynes himself, you know, um, you know, obviously people blame for inflation, quantitative easing, and all the other tools which state has over money. Um, when he went to the Bank uh, uh, sorry, when he went to the Bretton Woods Agreement um, to discuss what they were going to do after the war, when it came to the world's world's uh, uh, financial stability and ultimately um, uh, conflict stability um, he proposed something called the Bancor which was a, a federated apolitical money um, which would help aid uh, pol um, uh, uh, political um, harmony among countries he knew just like the Austrians knew that or know that um, having one country in control of the world's money supply um, uh, is not a good thing. It's too, too much power for, for, for one country to, 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 to bear. It's a burden, you know. Um, so even Marx himself didn't like the, like the idea of an, an apolitical money, um, believing that, you know, it would remove power from state. So, you know, all, all these major economic theories um, advocate the idea of a, uh, an apolitical money, and, and for good reason, because it, it, it really is clearly an easy fix on, 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 on world stability um, uh, and it is likely to, to make the world a safer place 
Uh, however, I mean, it's kind of been a pie in the sky until we've now had this thing called Bitcoin. So uh, to me, that's one of Bitcoin's uh, strongest properties is its apolitical nature. So he's complaining about that. He's also complaining about tax evasion. Whereas in reality, I imagine that, um, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they can't fiddle the tax system. So it benefits a small collective. But um, there are still points of contact in the in the medium term for tax as people buy houses. You know, they, they, they buy stuff. They buy stuff in shops. They they have uh, uh, wages and salaries and there's corporations which work in, in countries. So there's still areas to tax. It's just uh, th those points of contact. Um, it's, it's just a, pa a fairer playing field for people. You know, the, the normal folk now have the ability to be able to keep their wealth private just as the, the, the rich folk, you know, they, they already have that ability. So it would just, just, it would just make tax collection fairer. It would make it a little bit harder for countries, but it would make it fairer. So that's a good thing. And then ultimately in the long term, maybe it'll get rid of tax, you know, so, you know, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so Congressman Rep Sherman, I, I think that is a, it is, it is a, um, a good advert for Bitcoin. I imagine even no, a lot of no coiners will see that and probably flood into Bitcoin. So there we are. Um, so what else is going on? LND 06.1 beta has just been released. That's a minor release, but, you know, even though it's a minor release, it's a hell of a lot of work's gone into it. So well done, guys, for, for knocking that one out. Um, blah blah blah. New scam, Coinbase scam. Yes, if someone's been text a, a fake a spoofing phishing text from from Coinbase. Yeah, Reddit's looking pretty interesting. Some interesting articles there. You should probably hit that today if you can. So uh, news articles. This is the one we just looked at. Um, bullish news articles. We got here. All license six thousand four hundred dollars. Bitcoin gives no regard to Binance hack. Yeah, that's true. As I said yesterday, you know, six months ago, Bitcoin would have been on its knees from that news, but it really doesn't care. It shrugged it off, which is so incredibly bullish. Um, futures trading loving Bitcoin. This is interesting. Yeah, so the futures have gone up from three thousand dollars to in two thousand December two thousand eighteen to six thousand two hundred and eighty dollars, which is you know close to what we got now. So the futures are looking pretty positive. Um, uh, so well, that's interesting. You know, it's interesting see whether um uh hope, yeah, I, I i think i think they can just foresee the, the the bull run which is clearly emerging uh here's why bitcoin's price is looking at an eye popping bull run yeah so this is the, the major news there's something interesting in this article here they talk about fidelity so fidelity is a, a new on ramp for uh, wall street and it's very well respected by wall street and they announced on may the 6th that they will be buying and selling bitcoin on behalf of their clients um, and then nice uh, article by uh, Coin Telegraph here, and it's um, about the updates on the Binance hack. There's a nice quote here: Hackers were this is from Binance. Hackers were able to obtain a large number of user API keys, two FA codes, and potentially other info. Hackers use a variety of techniques, including phishing, viruses, and other attacks. We're still considering all possible methods used. Uh, there may also be additional affected accounts that we've not yet identified. Um, very concerning. It just means that the whole system's got you know filled with holes and it wasn't just one attack vector which the, the hackers got through but it's uh, multiple attack vectors so so yeah yeah and that doesn't bode well for for exchanges in general but um uh maybe with wall street getting in there's some of these some of these goofy exchanges will uh yeah maybe they, they won't be able to continue running but um it's a shame it's a shame that people lost their money so it's it's, it's uh you know finance i think are going to make them whole um but uh it sounds to me like there's there's it's, 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 there's plenty of bugs and, and flaws in Binance itself. So overall, very bullish. Um, sucks about the Binance stuff. Hope they sort their act out. And uh, the sense of Sherman news is uh, interesting. I'm sure people will be talking about that today. Um, uh, apart from that, that's it. So I'm going to keep that under 10 minutes. 14 minutes, not bad. Uh, there we are. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.